Aquarius, happy new moon in Cancer. This reading is for new moon in Cancer and the solar eclipse. Um, lots of emotional energy. You have a water trine going on. So you have Neptune in Pisces, Scorpio and Jupiter, Sun, sorry, sorry, Jupiter in Scorpio, Sun and Moon in Cancer. So that's a lot of water energy plus the solar eclipse on top of the new moon energies. Um, it makes it feel very intense, almost like full moon energy. Then you have a an earth trine. So that means there is Venus in Virgo. There is Uranus in Taurus. There is um, Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn. So when you have all of these energies going on, it kind of boosts the energy of the new moon. So you have extra energy to heal, to transform. Cancer um, vibes is about, new moon and cancer is about healing relationships with family. And that could be blood family, soul family, relationships with self, um, how you nurture others, how you nurture yourself. Where do you fit into all of that? Um, and then the earth trying energies, it, it helps you to then take the energies of the water energies which is dreaming big and imagining and spiritually creating in order to bring things into the physical so you have all of this beautiful energy um, Aquarius to use and um, let's see what the Oracle and the Tarot have to say to you guys for this new moon. So, Spirit Guide, I ask you to bless this space, allow me to be able to channel messages for Aquarius, nice and clear messages for Aquarius. May they be for the highest good of all involved and may they be received with love. Um, Ashe. So, Spirit Guide, what messages do you have for Aquarius for this new moon in Cancer? What do you want Aquarians to know? Aquarians, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Nice, clear messages for Aquarius. Messages nice and clear. Thank you so much. Okay, four more cards for Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. What do you want Aquarius to know? Oops, too many. Aquarius, at the bottom of the deck for you guys is the sun reversed. Sun reversed. I don't know if you guys are feeling not quite um, like low in active, low, low in um, energy, low in, in feeling like if you want to be like this, you guys might be feeling very emotional. There's so much. You know what? That's new moon in Cancer. That's Cancer season, actually. But remember this: as we Cancer season is about dealing with all of your, all the shadow side, all of your emotions, um, your emotional energy. Deal with all of that. So when Leo season rolls around, you can then be like, you know, it's that type of. That, that that's the beauty of the cycles and the seasons there is a season for everything so i don't know if that's why you feel a bit like your energy might not be to the highest or maybe feeling a bit pessimistic feeling a bit cloudy you know um but okay so aquarius the card that represents you and this should probably brighten you up wheel of fortune Remember what goes up goes down what goes down goes up and right now your wheel is up right You are completing a cycle or have completed a cycle 
we're in the new moon so perhaps you have just completed and you feel good wheel of fortune is about luck success um growth you know it's like beautiful things like all of the elements have come together all of these elements have come together to make your wheel turn upright to um make things come true for you so i don't know if you guys have just completed a project and you're now like yeah or it's coming it's coming maybe you might be doubting that it can happen and maybe that's why your sun is reversed but it's coming like success is on your side beautiful vibes are on your side always always trust in that so in the position of so the first position is your water position this is about how you can utilize all of this water energy for your highest good you know to go deep to connect to connect to others to connect with self so you can connect to others even and your card is knight of cups reversed um now i don't know if you guys are dealing with somebody who might have been a bit of a charmer um somebody that you need to be mindful of aware of to be cautious of um, but yeah your knight of cups is reversed or it might just be that you are still dealing trying to find your way trying to find your footing with how you deal with emotional situations or dealing with somebody who, as I said, might have been manipulative, a bit of a charmer, you know, a bit of a con, you know, that type of vibe and might have messed up, messed you up. Is that why your son is reversed? May have messed you up emotionally, mentally, making you doubt yourself, making you doubt, um, making you doubt your emotions questioning yourself that type of vibe but the thing is you are wheel of fortune so whatever has happened know that you are aligned that you are where you're supposed to be and that you can turn that into something beautiful that with in order to gain wisdom as you go along your life Shit has to happen, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because how, el how, how else would we ever learn anything? So, Aquarius, don't be knocked by this. Or maybe you guys might be, might be the ones being a bit emotionally manipulative. That's what I meant to say before, that you might be dealing with an emotionally manipulative person or you need to be mindful of being so but um whatever this energy is maybe th this is one of the patterns that you are looking to release as we move on to a new moon phase yeah um so in your earth position is this is how you're going to utilize the energies of the earth train which is very interesting the tower so the tower is about change change swift change sometimes unexpected could be t catastrophic um this is internal work this is internal work that's happening it's also quite interesting uranus is in taurus which is an earth sign that's part of the earth train that's happening at the minute uranus is about change uranus makes whether you deal with life yourself and you make the necessary changes or Uranus will come in and make those changes for you. It's about switching your mindset. It's almost like a 180. Um, dealing with life in a whole different way. It's about innovation. You know? So think about this, um, Aquarius. You guys might need to switch up how you deal with life how you deal with whatever situation it is that you that's that's come up for you in this new moon um but some serious walls are coming down maybe you need to lower your walls 
you know maybe you need to lower your your walls maybe this is what's the painful emotional healing that's happening that you've been dealing you've dealt with an emotional manipulative person in the past and now you need to like let go of all of that so that you can move on into the sunshine you know new things this is a whole new everything new eclipse season nothing everything's falling away everything's falling away to bring you into a whole new um a new world a new life so let it fall whatever is falling away let it fall yeah so your next placement as i said new moon in cancer is about family tribe um connections how you relate to others and in that position is the high priestess so when I mentioned before dealing with an emotionally manipulative person, maybe a con man, you know, somebody who's a bit sweet talking kind of thing, um, tap into your intuition here. Tap into your intuition. Also, if you see the moon in the corner here, she's very connected to the moon. This is the high priestess. This is the one who sees beyond the veil. This is moon energy. This is illusions falling away this is seeing beyond mystery this is third eye um seeing um very balanced she's card number two so this is balanced energy so you're bringing some balance into how you relate to others you are using your intuition and how to deal with others trusting your intuition um doing away with no what no longer serves you healing yourself in the spiritual realm so that your physical can shine um again remember you are wheel of fortune there's goodness happening around you there's goodness available to you there's success available to you there's completion available to you you know you are being um assisted by your benevolent ancestors by your spirit guides in helping you to make things come into fruition so but along with that um you have your tower falling you have knights of cups reversed this emotional this heavy emotional energy um your sun is reversed and your family connections tribe is the high priestess so some intuition needs to happen some passive energies um, some receiving energies maybe they have messages for you your family your tribe in how to deal with life how to let things fall away you are not in this alone if you need to reach out to friends or family do so that trusted person maybe you need to reach out to the high priestess maybe that person at your tribe is the high priestess vibe if this isn't you if it, if this isn't you telling you to connect um maybe you need to connect to your your um local high priestess your crew your squad high priestess vibe aquarius um so yeah so now you've dealt with all of this inner work you've do, do this is all the inner work that's happening in this final position is how you're going to take that inner work and project it out into your outer world you know how are you going to take how you're going to use these energies to your best and highest and your position in this position sorry your card is the star reversed so Aquarius, you need to trust that you are a star. Full stop. No questions. That is what it is. It is what it is. You need to trust that you are always guided, that you are always connected, that you always um that you are always shining. You know, even if your sun is reversed. Remember, you're the star. You got but you got to believe it. You have to believe it. You have to believe that you are the star, that you um, have what it takes to get what it is that you want to get, to dream big, to make things happen into the physical, to always stay connected and grounded, to feed into your intuition as much as you feed into your um, what you can see. You got to feed into what you can't see and believe in what you can't see in order for what you can't see to come into what you can see you know it has to it starts from within and it comes from out and it and it flows outwards 
So Aquarius, bear that in mind. There's nothing wrong with being vulnerable. There's nothing wrong with being um, unsure. But you got to trust that you have what it takes to make things happen. You're the only one that can do so for yourself. You're a star. In fact, don't worry about the fact that the card is reversed. The fact that the card re uh, reveals itself shows that the energy is still available to you. So let's see what the oracle has to say. What do you have to say for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs? And then your Moon and Cancer. Nice clear message for Aquarius. Oracle cards. Nice beautiful message for Aquarius. Thank you so much. So your card, Aquarius, is exchanging gifts. You see, it? it's beautiful. And your message, Aquarius, is... You're entering into a productive and enriching time when all manner of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them. Yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time, exchange your experience and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. Connect, commit heart and soul to what you are choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life. So Aquarius, hear what the oracle said. You know, maybe this is you, this Knight of Cups. Going crazy, you know, manipulating yourself into thinking that you ain't got what it takes. When you do, you do. So, all right, Aquarius, these are your messages for this new moon in Cancer. I hope you have a beautiful new moon, new lunar cycle, new path. Plant those seeds, believe in yourself, shine, shine, shine. All is well, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Trust that, um, send you lots of love. If you guys wanna connect, you can find me on Instagram at MoonGoddessCC underscore tarot. Please, if you have, um, if you want a question, if you have a question, sorry, you can find me on Instagram or you can drop a comment below. Like, subscribe, share, all of that. Share the love. Talk to you soon, Aquarius. Bye.